New restrictions go into effect across California. As health officials say, the number of people in the hospital in that state could triple by Christmas. Hospitalizations are up nearly 90% over the last 14 days, and ICU beds are up to 67% full. California's health department says at this rate, it will run out of ICU beds before Christmas Eve. Governor Gavin Newsom is calling this all the tipping point. Here's News Nation reporter Gene Kang in Los Angeles. As COVID-19 numbers skyrocket, the county health department is placing the strongest restriction we've seen in months since spring. The 11 surge facilities that we have pre-identified and pre-deployed um, all throughout the state of California in warm, what we refer to as warm status, and that just simply means that we can convert those surge facilities in relatively short order, 24 to 96 hours. They open and they close, and they open and they close, and they change the rules. All public and private gatherings with individuals not in your household are prohibited, except for church services and protests, which are protected by the Constitution. There are new maximum occupancy limits at businesses, which include essential retail, 35%, non-essential retail, including indoor malls, 20%, personal care services, 20% as well, fitness centers operating outdoors, 50%, as well as museums, galleries, zoos, aquariums, botanical gardens, outdoors, also 50%. Joan Renner, a nurse at Cedar sinai Medical Center, playing it safe. I think it's very difficult for businesses to survive and I walk down the street here and one block every business is, is closed. And with a five day average of positive COVID cases jumping to more than 4,700, breaking past the county's 4,500 threshold, Nurse Renner sees how the virus impacts families. And the stress that goes with it and the stress that the families feel because they can't be there. Gene Kang, News Nation in Los Angeles County.